Hi everybody, it's me. I wanted to show you my finished bottle. Um, first, first try, um, not too bad I guess. Of course everybody saw the base of the bottle and these are the appliques that I glued on. And then I added some pearls and some bling. There's another one right here. And then this, I just, I kind of cheated. I just put the, I used a whole package of these. Somebody had sent me these. So whoever sent me these, <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah, right. You don't remember either. Um, but I used a whole package. There were, there was three different swirls of the rhinestones. So I did that. Put those on there. I uh, put, I glued um, pearls that I had gotten in a roll. Oh, they're, they're from, uh, like you get them at AC Moore or wherever in the wedding department. And uh, then this is my, my cork that my daughter-in-law had given me. Actually, it was from a wine bottle. It was uh, the Barefoot, I guess, wine. And I put some of that roll bling around it. Hang on. This one right here. That stuff. But that, and somebody had sent me a package these great big jewels. The cell stick, but it wouldn't stick to cork. I had to put some um, hot glue on it. But it was perfect to fit the top of that cork. <laughs> See, there's where the corkscrew went in. But, and it just go, it goes right on top of there, just, just like that. May, it might be a little too blingy for the rest of it. This started out laying really nice. <laughs> but then as I added the charms, and I made the charms. I'm real. I'm getting. I'm getting into the charms. There's. There's a charm, and then that one, right there. And then of course my signature key, and then that one right there, and then this one, and then a little green, and then this one with the pearl. Like I said, it kind of looks like the butterfly. Uh, the butterfly. The uh, dragonfly is actually flying on the bottom. But that's, that's how it turned out. This is the, the bling and the pearls right here. Okay. And there's the, the pearls on the top. But anyway, that's, uh, that's my bottle. My first attempt. I kind of like it. I made a, I made a bracelet or a necklace. I made a necklace for my bottle. And I may try this again, and like I said, this one just doesn't want to stay down. That's <laughs> too heavy now. Um, my husband said, "Will you glue it?" And I said, "No, then it wouldn't be a necklace on the bottle anymore." But uh, I like it. I think it turned out okay, and it sits in the uh, in my living room on the shelf beside of my witch's room. And Sue, Scrap Lady 530, she would know exactly where that is because <laughs> she's been in my living room. All right. And Sue, I've been meaning to get a uh, private message you. Actually, you need to add a picture onto your account because that's how I find people when I want to add them to Circle. You know, of course everyone knows the circles now. Okay, but anyway, that uh, and my bottle, and I made a charm for this. I got this started. Haven't put anything on it, but I wanted to get started on the charm part. I'm not real good at, I like making the little charms, and I've got some of the little beads, but this, that's my charm for this particular one. Um, I started out with this one, and of course added the key, and I think Peggy, uh, JP Peggy too, I think she gave me that key. And then I wrapped the chain over that, over this hook, and started making these little charms. For, for that. Um, and again, I think that's Peggy, the butterfly. And the heart is probably Peggy. I think she sent me a, a package of them, but I like, the way, I like this one. I think that turned out really, really cute. But that's, uh, that's the charm on, on that domino right there. So, And I thought about maybe just putting bling where the numbers on the dominoes are supposed to be. And then maybe adding a little something here, and then adding the chain to hang. Anyway, those are my projects, those are my updates, and um, that's it. And I'll uh, I'll be looking at some of your old videos, but you really should give this a try. It, it with the uh, pre-done bling, it was easy. The only thing I used 
this stuck really well. I used glossy accents to, because I was afraid of the of the uh, hot glue not going to stick. But then I realized when I was doing these are hot glue. But then I realized it had a more toothy surface to grab to, and it wasn't just you weren't just trying to glue to glass. So, um, but the glossy accents kind of turned a little bit yellow on these right here, and that's why I kind of put a, a little bit of bling maybe to. I disguise it. Hey, sir. Hey, my, my dragon black. Anyway, there it is. I like the way it turned out. And I'll do another one, and maybe not not with the big charm. I, guess, I think that was from Valentina, um, Murrayville 55. But so I have a lot of Canadian on this. <laughs> um. All right, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Bye.